Esta película fue dirigida por Diego Luna y protagonizada por Michael Peña, América Ferrera y Rosario Dawson. César Chávez trata sobre la historia del famoso activista que en los años 60 luchó por los derechos de los trabajadores del campo, liderando una huelga sin violencia y honradamente. Su triunfo es un extraordinario que testifica que la habilidad y fuerza de un solo hombre puede cambiar el mundo. Once social change begins, it can't be reversed. You can't humiliate someone who has pride. And you can't oppress someone who's not afraid anymore. Okay, so my name is Ali, Alianette from My Sangre Latina. So, America, um, I loved your character on this movie. I actually did. I think she was a very strong woman. And um, because even though Cesar was the leader, you were the strength. For me, you were the strength of the movie. Um, what was your experience? How, how did you work around to, with your character? Well, um, I was very lucky in that I got to spend time with Helen. Mm -hmm. um, and she doesn't generally like talking to people. <laughs> They're not to people, but to the public, and especially mm -hmm. not people who are making a movie about her life. Mm -hmm. But um, I was lucky enough to get to meet with her, and that was a really important part in understanding, you know, her essence and mm -hmm. that um, still and powerful strength that mm -hmm. she had. Um, and she was strong, but at the same time, very warm and, and not afraid to be vulnerable. Mm -hmm. And um, so, so that was invaluable to me, to get to spend time with her. Yeah, that's great. You did a really great job. I really did love your character. Um, yeah, that's great. You did a really great job. I really did love your character. Um, how was your experience working with um, Diego Luna and with the cast, like Rosario Dawson and Michael Peña? Yeah. Can you talk to me a little about that? I had worked with Michael Peña just six months before doing a movie <laughs> called End of Watch. Oh, wow. <laughs> yes. So uh -huh. we had uh, sort of broken the ice that way, mm -hmm. which was nice. This mm -hmm. was certainly a different relationship for us. Um, <laughs> But so, so that was, uh, that was an easier relationship to get into. Diego, mm -hmm. I was a huge fan of as an actor, and mm -hmm. also I'd seen his first film, Abel, which I loved and thought showed how talented he is as a director. Mm -hmm. And I really felt compelled to, you know, collaborate with him because he, um, he was very clear about the story he wanted to tell. He was very clear about what spoke to him. Mm -hmm. and. What we talked about early on was that he wanted this to be a story about who the man was, you know, not not the victories and the icon and the hero, but who was the man and and as a as a father, as a husband, mm -hmm. as a person who had to make a lot of sacrifices yeah. to to affect the change that he did. Did you ever heard about um, Cesar Chavez before you started to you know to film? This? Yes, I grew up in Los Angeles, California. So. Um, Cesar Chavez is a big part of California mm -hmm. history, and I knew about him and just assumed that that everybody knew about him <laughs> because to me he was an American icon, and mm -hmm. it was interesting to learn that there are many people who didn't know who he was. Yeah. What would you tell to your, you know, to the audience of why they should go and watch this movie, to watch Cesar Chavez? What would you tell them? Well, I think it's incredibly important that the Latino community support films about our culture mm -hmm. because it is an industry at the end of the day, and mm -hmm. and. The, the possibility to make these films, to make more films that speak to our backgrounds, mm -hmm. will only become easier when when there's support and when the audience shows up for it. So, mm -hmm. so that's a very important reason to show up and support the film, but also because it's a very universal story mm -hmm. about an imp inspiring man from our culture, and I think that there's a lot of inspiration and pride to be taken from this story. Oh, okay. Well, thank you so much. Thank, thank you very you. much for your time.